Hey there, Aries. What's up? Jackie here, she, hers. This is for a sexual energy read for Aries, um, Sun, Mars, Mercury, Venus, and rising. So if you have those in your chart, uh, make sure to tell me in the comments below. So Aries, you have a lot of different energies coming up in your sexual wellness. So you have a divine masculine energy that's coming out in the upright in this card. Eagles, um, the lion, and the eye of Horus, and pyramids could be very significant to you during this time, but also a shield here. The divine masculine energy in sex is all about taking initiative. It's about confidence. It's about being spiritually aligned sensitively and intuitively to move forward and flow um, in sex and during sex and being really connected. Threes also represent the third chakra, which is the divine masculine chakra, which is great when this breaks down. Um, and this is also creating that confidence, self-expression. So I love that this yellow color here is coming out. A lot of you are speaking into existence and being really honest about what you want during sex. And you're kind of changing some things up a little bit here. Some of you now, so it says start being honest about your sexual experiences. Some of you are taking the lead on this. Some of you may have a sense or a gut intuitive feeling that a sexual partner, partner, spouse, whatever, may not be being honest with you during this time when it comes to their sexual experiences. And some of you Aries out there also have a distorted divine mask and energy because you have the king of cups in the reverse. Some of you aren't happy about what's happening during happening during sex before during after or even for solo sexual self-care or foreplay different types of intimacy not just sexual intimacy right but all these different kinds here king of cups in the reverse is really feeling sad there could have been some of you where there was a tower moment here and you lost out on a sexual energy or relationship and it could have been with the pisces here um this is also 12 here and you have the 12 here at 12 twelves. um 12th house in astrology could also be activated during this time 12th house in astrology is piscean for and run. Um, I think some of you might have gone through a divorce or breakup with this divine masculine energy and the reverse here and hanged man in the upright is like, I'm done. Yeah. And then you have the moon card underneath that. Wow. This could have happened during or with a Sagittarius or Sagittarian um, as well too. So nice Pisces confirmation there. And this could also be happening and going on and closing out a major cycle when it comes to um, sexuality and cutting off a sexual partner, letting them go. Now, this could happen during Sagittarius season. They could also have Sag in their chart. You could have that in your chart. If so, um, let me know in the comments below or go watch that sexual energy read. There will be messages in there for you. But Aries, I hit shuffle on my sexual self-care uh, music playlist. And what I got was Push It by Salt and Pepper. And I think some of you might be feeling like you're being pushed around here a little bit. And this could also be a distorted, um, you know, divine masculine energy, despite your regardless of all the genders out there. This could be someone being um, really naggy towards you. This could be someone that's trying to push your sexual boundaries. Um, but let me read some of the lyrics that stood out to you. It says, this dance ain't for everybody, only the sexy people. So you fly mothers, get out there and dance. Dance, I said, salt and peppers here and we're in effect, want you to push it back. Cool and by day, then at night, we're working up a sweat. Come on, girls. Let's show the guys that we know how to become their number one in the hot party show. Now push it. And so it makes me think like you could be going out dancing a little bit. People could be finding you sexy because you're in a divine masculine energy here. Um, some of you really could be working up, um, you know, pushing people and only and telling somebody, somebody could have been abused here and saying like, you're not sexy and being really emotionally um, manipulative and mean and psychologically abused overall. Then a second part of the song that um, stood out to me was also pushing it to the point of like, yeah, you better come here, give me a kiss, better make it faster, else I'm gonna get pissed. Can't you hear the music pumping hard like I wish you would now push it? And then it keeps continuing the chorus. So I think some of you are feeling and experiencing maybe you're getting pushed around in boundaries and um, your sexual energies here. You could be doing this to others. Always flip in reverse, but that's why you need to stay confident and maybe even work on building up your confidence and self-esteem with that third sacral, sacral chakra when it comes to sexual energies. Really speaking up what you do want and what you don't want and cleanse your energy and aura this has been coming out for a lot of energies overall the silver waterfall um swans represent self-compassion that heart-centered space parakeets could be significant to you as well as butterflies there's also a rainbow here you could be a part of the lgbtqia community water your sexuality is fluid so maybe you're questioning some things and moving forward you're like well what is it jackie okay so you could be blossoming into your sexuality too and needing to cleanse your sexual energy overall the silver waterfall talks about 
imagine having a silver light like coming through to your body and meditating and grounding yourself because you're going through big changes here and with sexual energies this is like sexually cleansing and ridding yourself of like any toxicity or people that you don't want in your life when it comes to you know sex in general maybe some you need to take showers before and after sex so maybe you're like i'm sweaty jackie right <laughs> so that could be important for you to do um nice and we have this as the third card coming back overall the spirit's like saying i said what i said like work on your sexual confidence maybe you need to work on sexual confidence by breaking down shame um that did come out in saggy's read or maybe another fireside read i don't remember but it's also like silver waterfall fives is like challenges changes chaos conflict competition um that's what numerology says and it, you're like nah bitch i'm not doing that i'm moving forward and i'm self-respecting i'm respecting myself i'm walking away from this overall and i'm moving on to a better um you know path for myself some of you could be moving um out of a partner or spouses or partners houses some of you could just be moving in general um maybe moving closer to friends or families this is a relationship read overall and this is also you moving into your power and stepping into that confidence by respecting yourself sharing those boundaries being confident and moving forward and overall energy at the bottom of the deck is boundaries owls tigers could be significant for you and see how there's um you know, both of these shields here, I feel like telling you, Aries, protect your heart, okay? Protect your heart. Like, this is major. Um, and some of you need to keep setting those boundaries. And you have the I've Horus right here, right? Um, let me know in the comments below if you want to know what that means. But it relates to clairvoyance and psychic abilities as well as so do owls here. Pay attention to the wanting. You could be in the wanting phases right now. But you have this balance of divine feminine and masculine energies. Um, I think I just said this earlier. Didn't I say you need to sit down in a divine feminine energy and like write some things out or what you're thinking about that could have been in another fire sign. Maybe you have that in your chart when it comes to astro sex placement. So that could be significant for you, but you're doing some things here to move forward and take it one step at a time. Tigers, lions, um, eagles and owls could be coming to you in your dreams right now. Pay attention to birds and swans as well. If you would like to know what any of those mean, comment below, but it's really like transforming into some new things sexually it's like moving on to something better let's see what comes out of the sex message deck for you you got two okay there is no shame in the masturbation game okay i just said this in saggy so somebody has saggy here so go watch that read um <laughs> and a sexual comparison does nothing but make you feel bad. Remember, you are uniquely you with your own experiences. Yes, you don't need to compare. Some of you are competing. Uh, competing. Nice. Maybe you are competing when it comes to sex. Maybe you're comparing your sex life to your neighbors or something like that over there. And you're like, well, they have sex this much, that much, whatever. And it's like, what is normal, Jackie? Okay, well, what's normal with sex is how much you do or you don't want to have sex. That is your normal. I don't care what any research statistic out there says. That doesn't include all. doesn't include all bodies, genders, experiences, races, locations, different types of areas, um, cultural components, religious factors. Like, that does not include every single person out there in the world, okay? And some of you, yeah, your sexual libido is different than your partner's, and that's okay. Some of you might be comparing that and questioning it, too. Um, your libido is normal. Your partner's libido is normal. I have to say this so, so, so much for people out there because it is normal. Um, tell me about silver waterfall here. Overall energies for sex coming out. Seven of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, there was someone that you could have been with that was not divinely um, aligned for you to be on your path. And now you're washing them away. Could have been a earth sign here. This could have been seven. This could have also happened like the... um. This could have also been happening during the seven month astrologically calendar year wise that's July otherwise it could be you know the seventh house of astrology which we are moving into Virgo season so maybe this is something with Virgo season but it could also be an earth sign here too they could have been really abusive and judged you when it comes to sex overall like someone here really got judged for like their kinks their um like they sent you that message here like and they were judging you for kinky sex BDSM whatever role play bondage you know maybe having somebody there watch or maybe someone doing some work tying you together maybe having a third party you know being able to um like be present with you and like be a dom or a sub or a switch or whatever and then queen of pentacles in the reverse wow they were super fucking disrespectful of you um they just wanted to be able to you know when they were like oh yeah this is a great idea like i'll do it with you and then after the fact they like maybe you paid somebody and you hired somebody to do that job and then they were like all pissed and stuff that they like shelled out that money and eight of wands yeah in the upright you're moving on you're like i've seen this person as a pattern i'm going to move on to something better and that's literally the self-respect like you're 
walking away. I love that that comes out with that here. Tell me more about self-respect. Page of Cups in the upright. Yeah, there could have been some truths coming to light and a message about this person. There could have also been an affair. Pay attention to black cats during this time. Page of Cups, this person looks really mad in this card. So maybe you're upset, frustrated with your sex life, and maybe the new moon energy is going to come bring in some spark here. There's also three people here. You could also be needing to like set up the scene sexually and sensually. Like maybe you need some food. Maybe you need some flowers. Maybe you need to write down your fantasies here. Maybe you need to write down sexual stories, and that's some of you how you're getting stuff out. Maybe pink candles could be significant for you at this time, but page of cups, it's like there's a message that's coming in for you. Water sign energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you could have those in your chart too, but it's gonna be something where like you could be invited and getting that invitation here. Nice, and seven of cups, it feels like this earth sign, whoever this was in the past, you are moving on to better energies here with seven of cups, you know, this balance of love, this balance of, you know, emotional energy. And you are saying like, I have and deserve the right to be respected and my emotions deserve to be respected here. Um, tell me about divine masculine, please. Divine masculine. Tell me what does Aries need to know? Divine masculine. Knight of Swords in the reverse. Somebody was talking shit about you, gossiping about you. Yeah, we already knew that here. This message could be coming in again. Um, Divine Masculine and Upright. Yeah, Six of Swords. You're like not even paying attention to this person anymore. You're like, I'm off doing my own thing. And it could be an air sign here. This could also be just happening during Mercury retrograde season. Um wheel of fortune in the reverse this karma is going back on that person here uh bottom of the deck boundaries like with this it's like ten of cups is in the reverse like they're so mad at you because you are ignoring them they're like wow i don't have aries anymore in my life da, 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 da. and you're just doing some things where it's like you know when it's best not to say anything at all aries when it's like i'm not even gonna waste my energy my emotional time or efforts on this person that's what this is giving me it's like i've already lost you like you've been out of my life like i'm done with that chapter and i'm closing it here and this person is so stuck onto this idea that you are so unbothered that they can't get you back in your life right so divine masculine energy um and boundaries at the bottom of the deck you set those boundaries with like this feels maybe like an ex trying to come back into this ten of cups in reverse and you have ten of pentacles coming in feels like an emotionally abusive ex here maybe someone that um was really emotionally manipulative of sex and everything like that and ten of pentacles this is like someone coming in and literally like like whining dining you feeding you grapes maybe you're incorporating mirrors a little bit during sex but like or food clay whatever and maybe that's what this person shamed you for um you could also have a caking fetish too um this is just something where it's like the fruits of your labor are coming in with ten of pentacles and this feels more so like when you've set your boundaries to like cut this x off you know this new person that comes in is going to be like yes i love this i love that you are so confident with doing that other people have been maybe this other person in their life or your life have been like wow maybe you flip it in reverse maybe you're telling someone like you need to cut this x off otherwise i'm gonna leave and find something better right top of the deck here yeah hierophant uh <laughs> marital contract coming in here or you know this could be something where you're focusing in on a sexual relationship contract maybe you're in polyamorous uh three here relationship right taurus as well that's coming out here um this could also just be a um nice new partnership that's coming in too beautiful you have two two here too as well when it comes to these different sexual energies top of the deck here intimacy i love it you're creating a lot of time with this new person this place is this is going to be something where it feels very abundant and like i said how you need to work with candles coming out again in different flowers so make sure you're doing that setting up the scene for sexual pleasure and the sacred woman this card talks about the divine feminine energy and it talks about how um others treat how you treat you others will treat you and so now you have this really beautiful balance of those two energies energies with the um with the sacred woman the um paid attention to white buffaloes too and then the divine masculine with the divine feminine and masculine energies here um sacred woman always talks about like you know she does not say anything bad about other people being in a uh, nice um in a divine masculine or divine feminine energy Mercury retrograde is going, so I'm talking really fast here. So maybe we're talking really fast. But she doesn't like talk shit. She doesn't gossip. She doesn't wish ill harm on other people um, when it comes to things. And maybe other people in your relationships have been doing that. Gossiping about you, speaking negative things about you, um, talking about your sexuality, sexually comparing you to other relationships or past partners, um, feeling like upset because they have to please you in a certain way or feeling upset because they can't please you in a certain way. Like maybe if you are bisexual, right? Maybe if you're 
pansexual. Maybe if you're kinky and they're like, I'm not into that, right? Well, it's like, okay, you don't have to be stuck. Like you don't have to be um, stuck in a cage and you can let yourself free. What I mean by cage and free, it's like giving me that energy of like, you're a bird in a cage and you can't fly away and you can't go and explore and it's actually be free here. Yeah, and you've had a lot of anxiety about this over time. Again, black cats here too. You could have a black cat. A black cat could be significant to coming in to protecting you and your sexual energy and who you share some of these things with other people um, with overall and justice in the reverse. This could have been a Libra or coming out again, like I said, during Libra season. The scales will be balanced. Pay attention to snakes here too if you want to know what snakes mean comment below Aries I don't know if that came out for you in the last reads yeah some of you are cutting this off this is like divorce done breakup cutting the sexual energy off like deleting them blocking them they're off my phone like I'm moving on here Scorpio energy this could happen in Scorpio season they could also have Scorpio in their chart they could be a Scorpio you could have that in your chart too okay Aries let's close this out with a sexual self-care card for you um you got two. Look at you. Ooh, you got <laughs> Venus coming out here, right? I'm just going to cover it just in case, you know, <laughs> I don't want to, whatever. We won't talk about it. Um, but anyway, there's no shame in using this word. This, think about your penis, a partner's penis, a past partner's penis, or just the word penis in general and understand what is pleasurable for you or them, or just saying the word out loud and getting comfortable with this. Think through touch, sensation, pressure, and remember this for future rush friends and or partners here overall. Love to see it. So we have positions coming out here too. You're being encouraged to change things in your sexual routine. If you masturbate or have partnered sex, group sex, or whatever in a limited number of positions, this is a time to switch it up, okay? Looking through a book, seeing different types of positions can also be helpful and also discouraging your body and discouraging if your body isn't able to move that way. It's okay. Just be honest with yourself and create solutions that you are comfortable with trying. Do not risk injury and proceed slowly, okay? I feel like that's what this whole energy read was about. Like, sexually proceed <laughs> slowly. Like, cut these people off, you know, these exes that could have came in during the retrograde or coming back during the retrograde or, you know, a partner's ex or whatever. If you do want that, you know, commitment, relationship, sexual energy, like, with them, whatever that might be, right? Make sure that you are focusing in on you. You're not comparing other people. Make sure you keep working around that sexual confident energy to keep attracting all the different um, relationships into your life that you wanna have, Aries, okay? Tell me in the comments below what resonates with you. Make sure to hit like if you love this video. I am so grateful for all of you being here and supporting my channel. And if you are new, hit that subscribe button, boo, okay? Um, Aries, go make sure if you want to win a giveaway, go follow me at Sex Therapist Jackie on Instagram, same handle, everything like that. I will be announcing that later on this week here but i'm gonna be doing a sexual wellness giveaway so would love to have you over there you also gotta be subscribed here so just make sure you go do that okay thank you aries so much again for being here and stay tuned for more and stay shameless